Hey, welcome back, Knife Nerds and Everyday Care People. It's your boy, the Big Knucker, and we are back. Despite being down by the flu there a little bit, I decided I want to do this real quick because this one here happens to be going out the door. I did not uh, have this for very long. I ended up uh, buying this particular one right here. It is the Tactile Turn Ember, and it happens to be the Mini Slim and I actually was looking for something a little bit bigger. My double XL hands, this just doesn't fit, but I just wanted to kind of at least show you guys this here because I doubt if I'll ever get another one because they are a limited re release from a tactile turn. And September 28th, 2023 was the last time you could buy something like this from the factory. Of course, there are them out there in the secondary market, but I think I will look for a full size, uh, full size one. And if I do happen to find one, I'll certainly try to uh, to acquire that. But I just wanted to kind of go over this before it went. I've got a couple other pens here that, uh, being an everyday carry guy, you know that we carry knives and we carry, you know, watches. We love those things. Pens are another thing that's kind of a little bit of a sickness. And I've got a few of them here. This one here happens to be a County Com uh, stainless steel embassy pen that was actually built for the uh, FBI to do their field notes. This is indestructible. Um, I've got uh, this one here, which is an O-Pen, which is the O-Pen Mini here with the little, it's a little bold action pen too. I've got that in just one of my little notebooks. So there's something like that. That's great. That was only about $17 Canadian. So I think that's a great bargain. And then we've got here, this one here, I do believe is called the Slide. Um, and it's, I bought this off of, where'd I get this? I got this off of uh, Mass Drop. And it happened to be like a little aluminum body. You can get them in steel as well as titanium where the prices go really quite high on these. And this is an excellent little knife or a little uh, pen that I did a, uh, a, a, a video on this. And it, of course, goes right inside my little uh, notebook here, which is fantastic. And then, of course, we've got just a couple of this one happens to be just kind of a throwaway pen and then of course this one here I ended up getting in just like a little pen set and I do believe this is kind of like a Bakelite polymer material and it's you know it's nothing fancy it looks fancy but it writes well but you know that's kind of what I've got hanging around here but this one here I've always wanted to get myself a tactile turn pen it seems to be one of those things that are just uh, the manufacturing the design uh, the building uh, as all takes place in Texas, and I guess, you know what, their, their machine shop is fantastic, and they do a great job. I mean, this one here, as you can see, this is their first Cerakote finished uh, pen, um, and it's like, you know, fully custom. So it starts off kind of like a dark, deep red, and then it goes all the way into almost a yellow orange with, of course, the yellow highlights. And this is kind of brings you back to the whole idea behind this. This is kind of, they were talking about, this is Prometheus moment of uh, stealing fire from the gods that gave you to the humans. And I guess they decided to build that into a pen. It makes sense to the guy who designed it. And I'm not going to say anything other than this is kind of seems to be kind of a love or hate uh, coding on this. I mean, you either love this or you hate it. And I happen to really, really like it. I'm not going to say love, but damn, I just thought it was fantastic. So I decided to get it. And then I realized it was the only, it was the mini 4.4, uh, inch version you can get these in a larger one uh, 5.1 inches or 5.6 inches they also come in the slim version as well as a regular version and the regular version i do believe is about 15 or 20 percent bigger at round diameter i just don't have it right off the top of my head but you know it does come in a fatter version so i ended up trading this for a full um titanium uh, a titanium tactile turn bolt action pen and just the regular titanium finish uh, the regular titanium finish ones I think are about 99 US these ones happen to be 149 now I just don't understand that completely you've got 149 no matter if it's the mini slim or the 5.6 inch version with a fat one they're all 149 and uh, they are sold out because people I think wait for these seasonal releases and like I said July or July 27th it started it ended September 28th but you can still find these on the secondary market now, the build quality on this is absolutely fantastic. As you can see here, there doesn't seem to be, I mean, when you see it in person and you look for the line, you can see the line right here where the pen uh, breaks apart to change the, the inside. But you've also got yourself a little O-ring in there that just kind of goes away when you, when you crank it here. Um, so you can see that it's very, very, not very noticeable. This whole thing has got some concentric circles that run around the entire thing. That's what gives you its grip. And it is a grip that's not 
uh, harsh on the on the on the thumbs or the fingers uh, it's enough that it gives you darn good grip without having to worry about um, being too overly aggressive now the the uh, bolt action uh, is quite smooth and quite nice and it is very very fidgety and that's part of the reason why I wanted to kind of get a bolt action pen from uh, tactile turn is because I'm a fidget guy and I love fidgeting and when you've got material like this titanium you know the springs are built in house um, you know that it's going to take a lot of wear and tear I mean if I can click that you know a million times I don't think I'd wear it out now there is one that's even a little bit more fidgety and that's the top press as well as a little side button release i think i'm gonna try to get one of those next but i just wanted to try one of those out to begin with now you've got this kind of uh beautiful uh uh titanium and it's a really thick titanium clip too as well i don't think that's going anywhere and it's got this now some people call it a topographical and it looks like kind of a wooden uh burn uh, a burned wooden kind of pattern on it and it just i think it just really sets off this beautiful beautiful pen now this one here they've they've changed from going to the uh, i think they used to come in a stainless steel box or just like a little metal box but now they seem to be being released in just this kind of little cardboard box with a really dense foam insides now this one happens to have that same kind of burnt ember pattern if you look on the back you've got it shows you exactly how to uh change the insides uh change the refill as well as it gives you an idea of about why they decided to call it the ember now i know that on tactile turns website you can find all the total refills now i knew the full size one i do believe it'll come with a g2 gel and it writes beautifully uh, from what i've been told but this one here i'm not sure which one comes in here but uh it writes absolutely gorgeous it's it's just a really thick thick bold line and it's so smooth um i if the full size one is a joy if the full size one writes like this one it'll be an absolute joy to write with um let's just see here the big c-a-n-u-c-k-e-r the big connector that's me um and it just writes beautifully i can hardly wait to get the the full size one in my hand now this one here is going to a fellow by the name of tyler um, he's out in northern Ontario. Uh, he's a school teacher up there, or a principal. Um, and I just had a really, really good chat with him. I know this pen's going in, in good hands, and I'm going to get one back that was equally well looked after. I have no doubt about that. And I'll be showing that one down the road. But um, I just wanted to say that if you wanted to uh, just... Tyler, he actually sent me a video clip of one of the schools that he used to teach at in Northern Ontario. And I'm going to put that um, that link inside the description just so you can click on it. And it's, and it's nothing EDC. It's just a really, really neat look inside of a school that is way out there in an isolated community, but they're trying to teach their children. Um, and they've got a great, great learning facility there. And I just want to kind of highlight that too as well, because teachers are... I believe one of our most underpaid, undervalued people in society right now. They do such a good job um, looking after our kids under such adverse conditions. And I just, my hat's off to them. I just want to kind of bring that out there. So that's just something I wanted to really, really touch base. It's not a crazy long uh, review. I'm not sure how this pen is going to wear over time because of the Cerakote coating. It is their first one. But from what I've read on forums, it seems like the Cerakote coating is really handling... Um, it's really handling the wear and tear quite well. I know Cerakote is pretty darn tough stuff, but I'm looking forward to getting the titanium full-size one. And uh, I'll definitely give you guys a quick look at that one when I do get it. So please, please stay safe out there. Um, keep your stick on the ice. The shiny side up. This is the Big Conducker saying adios.